Hey guys, it's Lindsay and we are live on location tonight. Our first stop of the evening is the 3300 Event Center. This place has hosted many acts since the 70s. I think the list tonight I heard was Van Halen, Joe Cocker, Deep Purple, and tonight Captain Quirk is our first stop. Backstage in the green room here with Captain Quirk. First, I want to know names and how long you've been in the band. Let's start on this side. Well, Jeff Brokamp. I've uh, been here since the beginning, whenever that was. 2014. 2014. Uh, Kevin Smith, uh, also 2014. OG. Brett Johnson, also 2014. OG3s. Jeff Lawson, I think 2017. Is that right? Yeah, 2017. And Steve Carell, I think the same thing, first of the year. Thank you. All right, so uh, Captain Quirk, our founding members, I think the name is hilarious. Um, little, there's a, a woman at my name, and when she sends me tasks, her last name is Quirk, and her first name starts with a C, and my brain automatically says Captain Quirk every single time, and it makes me laugh. Was it, like, was it just an idea someone had one day? Did we think it was funny? Was it... Yeah, you, you Where did it come from? It's the least worst one. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And all band names are stupid. Right. We every just put every band name, every trail. band name is stupid. And you know, uh, I am always looking for something that uh, I'm always looking at the marketing angle and what and what and what sounds you know what sounds good and, and what uh, what would um, kind of embody the you know what the what the band's all about. And actually, Captain Court fits perfectly because we're just we we there's really no genre. I mean, you know, no. we do we do everything. It's you know? like from old country to what well, we were talking about Prince. That I'm sorry, I said I'd never heard someone sing Prince that well live. It was fantastic. <laughs> but Thank also, you. I have to say the the you know the choir kid in me, I just giggle when you guys all come in with your harmonies together. It's so fantastic and tight. I like you guys have obviously been doing this for a while, and the progression of figuring out. The direction and what you want to do and where you want to go with it. Is it a group decision? Is there somebody pulling the reins? What's your dynamic? <laughs> well, these guys can harmonize the washing machine. Yeah. <laughs> you punch Jeff, it in So yeah. I, I, I think I can summarize this. Jeff, Jeff Brokamp and I have been playing together for 29 years this year. Um, his first gig uh, with me was in 1994 with the Willies at Big Al's. So, you know, he and I have been together for that long, and, you know, when we, and actually, and then the, the, the two of us met Jeff Logston in, uh, in Bubblegum Jack. We were also in Bubblegum Jack the first five years, uh, Jeff Brokamp and I were. So, you know, the harmony thing, I mean, yeah, I mean, he and I have been singing together forever. Um, I mean, you know, he and I both went through music, you know, music departments in our, in our respective high schools. I mean, you know, the, the, uh, the, the choir director at my high school put the love of harmony in me, and I just, I always said that I was never going to have a band that didn't have at least three vocals. Um, and, you know, the, all glory go, goes to my the band director because he plays the guitar man when I was 14. Um, but yes, I mean, you know, as far as, the, as far as the dynamic of the group and so forth, I mean, you know, it's on purpose. Um, and the other, you know, the other thing is that, you know, we, we did put this thing together. We've done the genre thing, we've done the seven, we've done the eights, we've done all this stuff, right? We wanted to do good songs, didn't care what it was. All the way from Garth Brooks to Slayer to wherever, so it just kind of almost a solid oh, yeah. time. So we've yeah. gotten away from them and all those CDs. It's yes. a little bit melting pot. It is. Um, all right, let's do last question. I want to know, like, what's your favorite on stage? This is the song I want to do. This is mine. I just love performing the song with this group. What's, like, your number one to do? Do you guys have one? No. I think it varies by person. Yeah, so, like, what's, what's yours? Yeah. Uh, I, I, 
Jeff and I, I think, are both kind of on the same page. The, you got that ride from Skinner, just one of the favorite ones we like to play. Um, there's a lot of fun ones we like, but that was one that we've never done before, and it's, it's fun to do. For me, my favorite, I don't have a favorite song. I mean, you got that ride's probably one of my favorite ones to play, but it's the, it's the musical Tourette's part of the show where Kevin goes off and we just follow him is my favorite part of the show. Um, we know, we have no I mean, some of those songs, you know, yeah. oh, yeah. this is the same thing show up, but I mean, yes. it's pretty much, I mean, it's, it's like, it's different every time. But we, we just know. wait for what's he going to do, and then we just try to say, can we play it? Can we do it? Like tonight was Sweet Child of Mine. I've never played any of that. And we <laughs> <know. laughs> broke it, and I were playing the solo on the guitar and the banjo. It yeah. was Sweet Child of Mine. Yeah, that was so, fantastic. I mean, it was stupid and silly, but that's my favorite part of the show. Uh, yeah, it's very fun. So it's like just a stage full of very talented musicians and and full. Like Thank it's you. a it's just a great show. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Um, thanks for letting us interview you guys. Oh, well, you thanks for coming out. Stage. So really, really so, so work. Yeah, go beat it. Love you guys. Do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.